Hi, I'm Todd Dunn. Welcome to another episode of Firefighter Friday. Today I'm joined by Lieutenant Mike Brucci. Thanks for joining me today, Mike. Thank you, Todd. And uh, you know, this is a little bit about a smidgen of, of your professional career and then get to know you a little bit about what you do when you're not working. So give us the rundown. How long have you been a firefighter? How long have you been a lieutenant? I've been a firefighter with the county for 15 years. I was persuaded by one of the firefighters who has since retired, uh, Mike Coey Sr. I used to have a produce business and he would come in all the time and tell me all about it. So yeah. when we sold, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. He, uh, he was your influencer to become firefighter. Absolutely. Yeah, he really uh, changed my life, I guess, because this is the best choice I ever made. Yeah, and so how long have you been a firefighter? I've been a firefighter actually for, with the state for about 16 years, yeah. but I've been with the county for 15 and a half. All right, and then as, as a lieutenant? Uh, coming on five years. All right. So, uh, uh, any regrets going this career path? No, it's great. Yeah. Uh, I love the work environment, the career, the, the schedule, the uh, the things we get to do, the trainings we do. Uh, so, anybody, if there's any young um, people out there thinking about it, what, what's your advice to them? Oh, absolutely, do it. Uh, no two days are the same. You get to do a lot of uh, different things. You know, in, in our downtime when we do training, we cut up cars, which a lot of people don't get to do that on a regular yeah. Tuesday. Uh, we do survival training in waters at playgrounds, uh, just so many different things, and it's whatever you make it. So let's talk a little bit about you. Let's start with, uh, um, go all the way back to the produce. So was that a family thing, or is that your business as a young person? What? It was a family business. Yeah. We started that, we moved down here when I was 12, from Chicago area. Okay. And then my family got into the retail wholesale produce and we sold that about three weeks before Hurricane Charlie. Oh, wow. And so timing was everything with that. Yeah. And then uh, from there, I did some computer work as IT work and got into fire and EMT school. So what do you do when you're not um, working? What's, what, what do you do for fun? You, you're a father, a husband and a father. Correct, I have three kids and I've uh, been married for three years now. We're well, coming on four. Yeah. Um, but in my downtime, I spend a lot of it teaching. I have an American Heart Association business where I go and I teach a lot of the doctor's offices, okay. uh, nurses and doctors in the area. And I also teach at Inglewood Fire Academy. Yeah. So I spend a lot of time at the fire academy with those young aspiring firefighters you had mentioned earlier. Yeah, teaching them what they need to know to be successful, right? Correct. And then I have an online school for firefighters, uh, couch courses. So I stay very busy with teaching. Yeah, so, and you had told me yeah, originally, your career path in college was education, right? Yeah, so I started college, I wanted to be a, an elementary math teacher. And, uh, you know, being the standard college student, I yeah. changed my major a few times until I changed it to no longer being in college. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, since then, I have finished up my degree and I'm currently pursuing my bachelor's. That's another thing I talk to uh, when I get to talk to the young people, you know, as far as like uh, return of investment. What the cost for the certification is pretty minimum compared to college for what you can do as a career, right? Uh, correct, the trade school route, doing fire, EMT, paramedic school, it's a very fast uh, return on investment. Yeah, and then if you can catch those kids in high school that know that's what they wanna do, you know, especially in Charlotte County, you can knock out EMT and the firefighter one right in high school. We hire many employees who aren't even old enough to drink. You know, they're under 21, yeah. they're fresh out of fire EMT school, some out of paramedic school, and they're starting a good career early in their lives, a good path. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. So there's opportunities out there if you want, you know, you think about it as a, as a young person, you know, there's, there's great opportunities in the, in the fire service, right? Yeah, and that's one of my favorite things, actually showing the kids. Now, usually it's the little kids, but showing yeah. them around the fire engine. If we're on a call and I see those kids, you know, at the end of the call kind of, big eye in the fire engine, yeah. I take a minute and show them around because that's one of the, the fun parts, one of the really fun Kinda parts. Kind of influencing them. Yeah, Hope you, so. Yeah, get the influence in one way. And that's some, I hear that a lot too. That's that's something that, you know, those kids and their parents, you know, they'll never forget. You know, they'll remember that, right? Yeah. So what else do you do besides teaching? I've actually gotten into gardening. Yeah, so I found it's a good, healthy habit, yeah. you know, a good hobby that uh, kind of helps relax and with the, I've been doing edible stuff. So, you know, cucumbers, tomatoes, things that then has a uh, return. Kind of full circle on your whole produce thing, right? I guess. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, you're yeah. right. <laughs> so what's your favorite vegetable to grow? Uh, tomatoes are kind of easy. And I've got a lot of basil right now. 
In Florida, is that an all year long? What's the season for those? Yeah, I'm a new gardener, so I'm not too sure. I know that everything burnt up this summer on me and then the hurricane blew things around quite a bit. Yeah. So I've got basil growing everywhere, even in between my pavers. So cool. I, I'm still new at it though, I'm still learning. That and I like, I've gotten into uh, smoking meats yeah. and you know cooking for a hobby. So you do, which translates well here, right? When you're on shift. It works out pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you know, we eat well on my cook days. Nice. Usually. Firefighter, lieutenant, uh, educator, gardener, <laughs> yeah. teacher, anything else? Family man. Family man. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, uh, thanks for sharing a little bit about you. Thanks for uh, joining us on Firefighter Friday. For Mike Berchie, I'm Todd Dunn. We'll see you next time. Thank you.